Hey everyone, my name's Campaign Poppy. I like doing game walkthroughs. I love playing single player campaigns and so I've started my YouTube channel today. I'm going to be starting with Red Dead Redemption, the original um, version that has been remastered for Xbox One. Uh, that way it gives anybody who's looking to play Red Dead Redemption 2 a little background on what the first one was like so they can have a backstory. Just want to thank you for coming along. Um, I will not be talking during the cutscenes so that it gives everyone the chance to enjoy them. Let's get it going. For one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. That's not bigoted at all. But father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Uh -huh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can 
by voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Started. Go to the saloon. First thing I gotta do is I am a look inversion person. So we got the mini map down there that's telling us where we need to go. Pardon me, sir. Marston! Mr. Marston's over here! You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. This game is just beautiful, even for it being coming well, here, out in uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. 2011. Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rook. go a little faster. I have not played this game since it came out, so I am pretty much brand new at it. So it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind, Miss Van. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kind of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians. Or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I said, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Don't you do find about as sociable as most three to back to you? <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> he does not sound like a good husband, this guy. It was 
the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Focus on the coyotes and lost my way. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Approach Fort Mercer. All right, glad that guy's gone. Talk too much. What could go wrong right now? Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Said, come out here right now. Go away now, John. <laughs> Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> You implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implored. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. That's a quick game, huh? First achievement, that government boy. Hopefully we can get to some game playing. This is a big prologue setup.
Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Join Bonnie. Imagine there being a time you get shot and it only costs fifteen dollars to get the bullets removed. Even by inflation today, I feel like it would still only be like what? A hundred and fifty dollars? Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Well, she just walked straight into me. She does not mess around. Hold B, it'll just focus on her and we can walk right behind her. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Yeah! Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. All right, let's do it. Hold A to match their speed. This is gonna be pretty boring, guys, but it'll give us a lay of the land, I guess. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. She's rich. Come on, boy! Let's go! And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. Gee up! That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. So I hold it to follow her and it just brings me over here. Luckily my horse can jump. I don't have time to be waiting around! Blame the AI. Here we are, 
back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarlane. So X hitches the horse. For? Come on, I don't bite. She's aggressive. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. I'm just gonna run. I guess she's not in too big of a hurry. While we're waiting for her, how many of y'all have actually played this game and enjoy it and are looking forward to Red Dead Redemption 2 and how many are just new right. and want to see Follow what the first one is about? Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Mr. Marston, I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. I just want to thank everybody for coming along on my first video. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, hit subscribe. I'm going to be posting the full playout of this game. And then after that, I'm going to do the new Tomb Raider. I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Let me hitch up. That was embarrassing. Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their maker. Where'd they go? Much obliged for the help. Them rabbits can be wily little critters. Let's mount up and patrol the rest of the property. Well, that's nice. My horse knew we where to go. We should keep moving. There's still a ways to go. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the livestock. Whoa! That coyote won't be back. Yeah. Not a bad shot. Where'd the other one go? There it is. Dead eye dream. Slow down! You're a dead eye dream. Come on! Where'd it go? Come okay, on, it's on the map. Coyotes don't run together, so I feel like this is the correct depiction. Well, we got rid of the coyotes. I just wish we'd saved all the chickens. Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. You know, you can actually. 
actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Oh, good. It'll just appear here whenever Thank I lose the Thank you for your horse. help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. So sleeping saves the game. Pick up extra ammo from the truck. All right, 150 fame. Nine revolver ammo. Save the game, and we'll get some shut eye. Some people even deal in valuable information. So the B on the map is Bonnie. Oh, I'll grab my horse. Pitch this guy up. Let's try right here. Nope. Hopefully they hang out here and they'll be back waiting for me. Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Oh good, the horse just wound up over there. How do you do, sir? Come on, boy! Go to the oh. race start. Push her out of the way. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You oh god. Me at all, Miss McFarland. Let's go! Oh, 
God damn. My horse is pissed. I guess Let's I go. rode it too hard. I'll pay attention to the stamina bar. A little bit better. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna lose this one because I got thrown off my horse and took her off. Here, so. A little embarrassing to start. Oh. That's life. Catching up, I might still be able to get Go. that. See you at the finish line! Let's go! your ranch, you had the advantage. Follow me! Come on! Oh, no you don't! How you doing back there? To redo this. Come on. Come on. You'll have to do better than that. So there is a timing for recovering stamina, I guess. I just was not doing it correctly, but I feel like I've learned. Come on! Come on, boy. Come on! Alright. Rough start, but I think I did it. I think I did okay. <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know... You should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. Look how cool he looks, leaning up against the pole. Marshal Johnson is available to talk to you. How are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the reins, Mr. Marston. She really likes to roast me. To go all the way around. All right. Hello. Can we stop wasting time and get on with it, please? Dude, chill. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Come on, 
Oh. Even for a game that's so old. I think it's kind of funny. I found you dying on the side of the road, and now you're driving me into town. Slow down. Armadillo isn't going anywhere. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Guess I should slow down a little bit. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Go to the doctor's office. The whole town needs my expertise. Howdy, friend. I got a stock of them electric belts if you need to lose weight. Refills dead eye meter. Capo refills horse stamina. Got it. Thank you. Stay away from the salt pork and tobacco. Medicine and other consumable items are stored in the satchel. Completely restores your health. Special dark brown horse with a light mane, faster and stronger than normal. me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. All right, hopefully we can finally make some more progression. So we can use a stagecoach at the freight station to get back. Awesome. We can now purchase and rent property. So with this game, I'm going to focus on the main story just so you can see what, the, what it is. And then any side quests I probably won't be doing too much of. So poker is the poker chip. Easy partner. I'm gonna see if I can rent this spot. Maybe I have to go all the way up. Oh yeah, I do. Five finger fillet is not available. I doubt I have money to rent it, but I might as well try. New items are now available to purchase at the stores. Not enough cash. So I need fifty dollars. Whoever built you, you who are you? Mister. Check this out. Please feel free to browse my Howdy, mister. There you go. So I have no money whatsoever. I might as well just check everything out. 
be a little bit of a window shopper. Already went to the dock there. Guess I'll check this out. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> Shut up, you! And what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. You know, those, Marston. Follow me. How those inmates just chill in there all day when nobody watching them. So who are we looking for? A bunch of two-bit hoodlums, led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Look at that cold water. No. The way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. I gotta be on There's the dumb rat bastard now. 
follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. Damn, he's seen it. Come on, don't lose him. Whoa. Tell Walton to his hideout. Do not kill him. Come on. If Walton's as bad as you say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. Sure how he knows he went this way. Since we're so far behind, but whatever. He's headed for Pleasant's house. Let's stop so we can get a better look. Whoa! He just said let's stop. Shoot him in the leg. It'll be trial and the rope for you. Works for me. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Yeah. Oh, now. All right, first real mission completed. And I got $20. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Alright, I can buy that place in town now. I borrow this friend. Quickly travel back to town using the travel of the destination. I hope those don't charge at me. Those coyotes. Save your game from anywhere in the wilderness. Choose the camp item from your satchel to put up camp and save. I think I'll go back to town by that apartment and save and I'll call it a day. 
can provide you with horse and additional ammunition if you have none. They also allow you to travel to any town you previously visited. Just checking out the controls. Basic campsite. Right back into town. I like the view. Come on. Oh yeah, I just really want to thank everyone for coming along on my first video. I really appreciate it. I'm new to this, so uh, any feedback you have, please provide it. I'll consider it. I'm looking to make this channel as open and fun as possible. So I will be reading your feedback. Take it really seriously. I feel like my wife would be very happy with me buying a house inside of a brothel, but it's different times back then, huh? See if we can restock on anything. Wanted poster to begin hunting a bounty target. So you can go to those and you can kill or bring in somebody alive and get some money. But with that, I'm going to save and quit. And I will see you guys next time. My name is Campaign Poppy. Thank you so much for coming along on my journey.